Hi everyone, this is Keanu Ramirez, and today I'll be speaking with you about the Baja California tree frog. California tree frogs are normally found near coastal canyon streams, rocky mountains, or permanent still standing water like the LA River. A factor that influences any frog is extreme sunlight. Something as small as this can greatly endanger the frog, especially ones that cannot withstand heat. Frogs are extremely important to this area like the LA River because they are a great source of food for a handful of animals, for example, snakes and birds, while frogs are known to eat garden pests, for example, insects and centipedes. Pocket parks are needed much more than you would think. As you see in the graph above, frogs are hardly seen outside of Elysian Park, which is known for grasslands and water, which is also commonly known as Frogtown in its past. Frogs reproduce in water and hibernate when they need moist soil, for example, when it's too hot. Having small bodies of water or pocket parts throughout these areas um, would be very beneficial as they would not have to go searching for the moist ground and it would be more accessible to them. Rocks, logs, and lily pads would all be beneficial as they do not like to be fully submerged all the time. Lastly, chemicals use and pesticides in gardens are extremely detrimental as they are poisoning their food source and you are poisoning them indirectly. As they are found in mountains, they could also be found in desert streams. On my map above, the observation has 6,789 observations, while today they have 6,834 observations on iNaturalist alone. They are strictly on the west coast of the United States, and they can go as far inland as Nevada and even Utah. They are mostly on the Southern California and Baja California's coastline. There are no conservation concerns for this frog in California or any other states. This, calif- this animal is nocturnal and mainly found in the water, usually only during mating season. As I just mentioned, that their reproduction is strictly aquatic, and that is the time of the year that they are found in the water. The female will lay her eggs, and the male will fertilize them externally. Reproduction happens at different times exactly, depending on where they are. So, laying eggs can start in November, and that can continue all the way until the following June. As I have also previously stated, that within these moist areas, there's no reason uh, or no question on why that they are found near Elysian Park, because it's grassy and it's moist. There's no way that you would be finding a frog on concrete unless it was displaced or somehow moved there. These California tree frogs live about two years in the wild, and they can be active all year round in places of extreme heat or cold, and the frogs will hibernate within their moist shelter if it is too hot. And lastly, here's my work cited. All my information is there. Thank you very much.